raving lunatic. He's certifiably insane. He's quite mad. Hectic, hectic. Oh. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Or should I say welcome back? How good it feels to say that. Making weekly videos on the regulars and loving life. Thank you to every single person who done likes, comments, shares and subscribes. I appreciate it so much. All the messages welcoming me back. It's good to be back. Now last episode we announced that I am back. This episode I'd like to give you a little life update and a little sneak peek about what's to come, what to expect from the channel and something to get a little bit excited about. So straight into it, six years ago, started traveling, was loving it, some highs, some lows, some incredibles, some terribles, neck minute on a plane back to Australia, mate's wedding, amazing, and then all of a sudden COVID, bang, borders closed, planes down, stuck, jumped into a job, got employer of the century, believe it, believe a hundred percent. And then put in my application to get out of there. 17 documents later, 17 documents later, finally was approved on a plane, escaping back to doing what I absolutely love and that's on the travels. Now first stop was Athens in Greece. Then it was off to Spain, Andorra, Sweden, for some very amazing reunions with some incredibly special people in my life. And then it was goodbye again and off to Warsaw, Poland to visit my family over Christmas. Unfortunately, I caught COVID there and badly. I was hospitalized, I was on all the oxygen machines, this, that. And there was a moment there, I asked the nurse, I said, listen, Pani Pilegnierka, okay. And she says to me, And I'm thinking to myself, where's your bedside manner? All I wanted in this moment was to be in the P in the hospital with Debbie from Dooney saying, Dal, she'll be right, mate, you'll be okay, don't worry about it. But unfortunately I had Basha from Praga Pool Knots. But thank God I managed to pull through and there was a moment there that I was laying in bed and I thought to myself, I just need to feel the support of prayers, of people's positive energies. And I wrote a status on Facebook and I got inundated with positive messages, support and prayers. And I wanna thank you so much, every single one of you for that because it reignited a fire in me, you know, to be able to wanna again spread happiness and smiles and laughters and positive energies. And from that little flame that was lit in that hospital bed. Here I am making videos again. So I thank you so deeply for that. And after I'd recovered enough to leave the hospital, I was back to Greece. And after about a month or so, I'm still having a lot of chest pain in my heart. I went to the doctor and I said, what's going on? You know, am I gonna be okay? He said, what you need is a warmer climate. You need a lot of rest. He said, you need a lot of good food, a good diet. And he said, and you need a lot of vitamin D. It was like music to my tanned ears. I thought vitamin D, is this guy, is he serious? So here I am in Mexico with incredible weathers, doing long walks on the beach, enjoying sunsets, enjoying swimming, light exercise, enjoying the beautiful Mexican taco burrito diet and um, really, really prioritizing my health, realigning myself with my passions. And it feels incredible, you know, back to, back to doing what I absolutely love and back to loving life in this extremely passionate way. Now, inevitably the weather will change soon. The rainy season is on its way. And when it does, it'll be time to pack up relocate and start all over again in another country somewhere warmer somewhere chasing those sunshines and basically that's been my life for the past six years doing that and if you think that that's interesting perhaps or something that you'd like to do i'd love to share how it's possible for you i'd love to share stories of how i worked for weeks at a time with different families on farms or picking olives or that time that i lived in a cave in turkey and i gave people tours on horseback and showed them incredible parts of the world and i didn't even know how to ride a horse so if you think that sounds cool, I'd love to share how you can do it too. And if you think that that's the furthest thing from anything that you'd be interested in, watch along anyways, because at the very least, you'll be hopefully entertained and be very thankful that you have the life that you have and not the one, this unpredictable, strange, unusual life that I have. And on top of that, I've got different stories of successes and triumphs and tribulations. Stories where forklift driver from Sydney goes to an eating champion to being featured on art exhibition in Europe, believe it, 100%. Or a story where I attempt a marathon on six hours notice, never having run more than about three kilometers in my life. I hope you will survive it, really. I, I don't want to be responsible. Do you think I'll finish it? 
subscribe, click like, do the notifications, and when that video drops, you'll be the first to know about it. You'll be able to find out if I did or didn't, and so many other bits of content. I'll show you incredible places and do all that kind of stuff, but it won't be hotels, it won't be tour buses, and I'm sure you've heard about the road less travel, well, I'll show you the Ali never travel. Hopefully you'll get a lot out of it. There'll be some inspirations, motivations, all presented to you in a fun, energetic, and entertaining way in that love life hectic styles. And that's it, I guess, all wrapped up, and I'm very excited for next week. I've got a great episode coming up, so I'd love to have you on board for that. And um, yes, I wish you all the best for the weekend, and um, as I always say, with hectic, everything is okay. Love life. Ha <laughs> ha